Keep watching Charis TV. You see, there's witchcraft. Yeah. You know. Yes, I know. Huh? Yes, I know from People home. Who you are followed. Mm. Huh? Yes, I know from home. Huh? From home. From home. Relatives, yes. yes. People are followed from home. This stomach goes like this. Yes, it's true. Like this. And you start to argue. Yes. Huh? Yes, it's true. You were thinking your wife does not respect you. Yeah, sometimes. Eh? Yes, I was thinking that. There are some ways that she speaks that bothers you. Yeah. Eh? Yeah, that's but true. But this thing is from your home. You yes, know? I know. Eh? I know. Can you kneel down and ask him forgiveness this man? Uh, can you just do that? You are delivering him. Tell you. <sighs> Tell him. Just say I'm asking forgiveness. Me, please forgive me. Yes. Ask him. Ask him. Can you put your mic here? Say for what? For what? Answer. For disrespecting you. And then you say what? Okay. Yeah. Because I you, you I are. Forgive you. You, you. you used to feel like you would beat this woman. Yes, that's true. Right? Sometimes I. There was a time where you were very close. Yeah. Like, like hey! <laughs> It's true. I took the phone and it's I true. smashed it. It's true. Sometimes it tends, it changes to be something. Something else. Yeah, and. And uh, because of what? I don't know. Yeah, because you are very much protective. You, you are a dangerous woman. This, this, you are under attack. Amen. You understand? Yeah, you are under attack. This woman, you understand? She doesn't know what she's doing. She thinks you are wrong. It's not true. It's true. It's true. But you are the one. How you answer him? You understand? Amen. So from today you will know how to speak with your husband. Amen. He it's was like he nearly. Yeah. His hand was true. here. It's true. Huh? It's true. He was. He, he was. Uh, he was going. <laughs> oh my God. But this man, the way he loves you. I know. This man loves you. Huh? I know. So don't take advantage. Amen. Lift him. Uh, and kiss her. Kiss your wife. Kiss your wife. Yes. You will never fight again. No person. That, that man was. Mama. Do, do you know, do you know, uh, Mama? Do you know when you love a person? You, you do like this. You know, if you love a person, you want to clap that person. The first thing that will reach there will be a mouth. So you end up kissing. <laughs> so the men want to clap you, but uh, you, you are saying this man is short tempered. You see, she's crying. Look at that woman crying. But they, listen, my sister, that man was attacked not to have you. You understand? And you, you have seen that. Yeah. Eh? Yes. So you are attacked not to have you. The way you argue, 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 me, I was seeing you leaving him. Yeah. You want to leave? Yes. And, uh, I don't want you to leave, eh? And I won't leave, but eh? I won't leave. Yes. I will stay. Yes. Uh, if you stay, that man will be blessed. If, if Amen. you leave, if you leave, oh. there will be nobody who will marry that man. Amen. Do you know that? Uh, stop crying, sis. Come, my brother, come. This, your wife is crying, it's not good. I want to tell you something about your wife, but you will never fight again, I tell you. You will never fight. Come, my brother. My brother, listen to this. You see, this woman is crying. Yes. Because when they attack her, she doesn't know that she's disrespecting you. You understand? Yes. And then she knows that you are the one who's causing all this. It's an attack that you must not have a wife. You understand? Yes. My brother, I want to encourage you. Even if your wife can do anything, don't beat your wife. Or don't even have a mind of beating a woman. A, a coward man beat a woman. Beat woman. Yes. You understand? Yes, I understand. So you, this is what you told yourself. So that you will never beat this woman, but you were going there. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. All right, listen to this. 
I want to give you this thing because you and me, we are the same. Okay, so I know. Look, look, look at that, look at that. That demon has left him. That demon has left him. Lift him up. The moment when I say, me and him, we are the same, the Spirit of God entered him. You saw him. Yes. You and me, we are the same. Listen, you are from the family who doesn't believe God. It's not true. It's true. Huh? But yes. It's true. Huh? Now God chose you. You understand? Yes, I understand. Unless if you people you do things together, nothing will happen. You understand? Amen. Bring him here. Why are you always falling, Washanya? No, I'm, I'm telling me. You just leave me talking and you are falling. Why? Something is eating, is pushing me. Huh? Something All is right, pushing listen me. Listen to this. You and me, we are the same brother. We are coming from a family that does not believe in God. And God chose you and gave you a, a wife. If, if you separate with this woman, you will never marry. And this woman will never get married. Because you are made to be together. One day you will serve God. You hear me? Yes, I hear Number two is, you and me, we are ugly. You are ugly. Yes, so, so much. Yes, it's true. Listen, you yes. don't deserve a woman like this. Yes. You understand? Yes. For you to have a woman like this, this, this lady knows you are not handsome. Yes. It's not true. It's true. You know. So now, all right, I will stop there. I'm trying to tell him the truth. All right, look here. Look here, brother. You, for you to have a wife like this, this woman, you were supposed to be very happy, brother. Yes, yes, you yes, yes, yes. You, it's a grace of God for you to have a beautiful woman like this one. Thank you, Jesus. Look at this woman. Look at my mother. Yes. Can you see that? Yes. And you and me, we are the same. <laughs> Thank you. You understand, my brother? Yes, I understand. So, if you are ugly like me, and you get a beautiful wife, what do you have to beat your wife? <laughs> You understand? So you don't take advantage of your beauty. Amen. This man loves you. Amen. You understand? Amen. So always humble yourself. Amen. Remember that they don't want this man to have a wife. Amen. And you are there and they don't want you. Yeah, I so know. You know. Mm. So stand together, you'll make it. Amen. Thank you. I mean, you understand what I'm trying to say? How can you have a beautiful wife like this? One day you become angry, want to be. And look at yourself. Sometimes the first thing before you fight, take a look at yourself <laughs> and, and check yourself. You realize that you don't deserve this woman. It's by the grace of God. Uh, come, come, Mama. Uh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, come, Mama. Me, I don't deserve this woman. I'm telling you. Look at my wife at this age. She was already past 50. But she looked very young. Look at this woman. Look how. You understand? An ugly man like me, to have a wife like me, is a blessing. There are two things, Mama, listen. The two things that will make me not to beat you in my life, number one, or to argue with you. You have changed your surname. You, you didn't only love me. You also change your same name and call yourself by my same name. That's the first thing. You hear that? The first thing. Number two, there's no one like you. No one. <clears throat> no one like your wife who agree to follow you to the house. There are many ladies who just want money from you. But there's no one who, like this one who said, me, I want to stay with him. Do you know, for my wife, to every woman here, to agree to stay, stay with that man was not easy. Eh? It's not as easy as you thought. Was it easy? No. Every day you are seeing this man. Every day you are seeing. Every day you are seeing this. And this man is not handsome. <coughs> when you are married, be very careful when you are married. 
love your wife. Love your wife. Just love your wife. And you, wife, respect this man. You will think I'm just talking here. There are many marriages here that are broken here. Another one is sitting there. Can I see people who are not sitting together with their husband? Lift up your hands. Can you see their hands here? Go and find your husband. Go and find your wife. Go. Go now, 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 now. Let's break this demon that is fighting you. Go. Find. Go. Can you see how many are they? Can you see? Can you see? There's a too much demons, I'm telling you. I'm telling you now. Some of you, you were excited when you started a relationship, but you're no longer happy. Satan, listen. Satan knows very well that if you stand together as a husband and a wife, even when it's tough, you're entitled to be blessed. You must stand together. A right wife, take care of a husband. If you want to get married to a man, look, another one, they are showing him where is his wife is. <laughs> he doesn't even know his wife where is. He's doing like this. Is <laughs> Some people here, they are showing him, your wife is this side. <laughs> Crazy person. <laughs> Did he find his wife? There. Did you see what I saw there? All right, let's go for deliverance now. Uh, he's still searching another one there. <laughs> Brother, come here. Come. Where is she? Ask him. This side. You find her? Which yeah. side? She's. Huh? Yeah, that side. Huh? She's this side. She's that side? Yeah. Oh. Where is the wife? Lift up your hand there. Oh my, come out. <laughs> he, he, he's, he's searching for you, he can't find you. Oh Jesus. My Jesus. Uh, this man, if he doesn't change, you will leave this man. You. If this man doesn't change, uh, you will leave him. That's true, daddy. No, you want to leave, you are tired. Uh, this man That's very is true. a nightmare. That's, That's why even now, if for him to come here, he doesn't find his wife. <laughs> this man is not serious. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Makanenisa. And with me here today is my family, who is located during the service by the men of God who ministered upon their lives. Mama, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Yes. Please introduce Papa Ezwane. Hi, my name is Tami Shibambu, and with me is my husband, Charles Shibambu. We come from Pretoria. Today during the service, the Apostle located you and ministered upon your lives. Kindly please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Okay, he prophesied that he sees me disrespecting my husband. Yeah, and he asked me to call him and he came and... I asked for forgiveness. So he said in that way, as I was asking for forgiveness, I was delivering him because uh, he sees witchcraft, which is coming from his side, his family. So he also said that he sees my stomach growing and flattening, growing, flattening, which is true. Uh, sometimes it grows and sometimes it goes back. So he says it's witchcraft from his side. He, the family doesn't want him to marry. Yes, he also said that for him to marry is it's just grace because there's no woman who's going to tolerate him and stuff like that. So yeah, we had arguments every now and then. Yeah, and uh, at some point I had a mind of leaving. Yeah, but... I thank God because he has delivered us. Amen. Yeah. And how has that affected your marriage? Uh, it was a bit tough. Yeah, it was a bit tough because I just thank God now because now he, he at least he comes to church. 
Yeah, so before he was not coming to church, I was the one who was coming to church. So now it's much easier. Before it was it was so tough. So now at least we were able to stand together, we pray together, we are fighting together and we will win together and we will stand together. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you feel that the men of God located you and ministered upon your family today? I just want to confirm what the men of God have said about the issue of disrespect because sometimes when I speak with her, she will answer me somehow and I just keep quiet and I know that it didn't go well with me. But thank God because today we were located and delivered and about the issue of evil attacks from my family is true. They believe in something else. We are the ones and my brother who attends the church. And I want to thank God because we are still together. It's true that at some stage the marriage was the marriage by name. We were nearly separated, but thank God we are still together until today. Because now we are coming to church together as a family. Uh, we are praying together. I think we are overcoming the evil attacks. Yes, and that's what I can say. And I thank the men of God for locating us and delivering us today. Thank you. So how would you encourage a couple that's also going through marital problems at this stage? Yes, uh, I will advise them not to, the husband more especially, not to beat their wife, not to be short-tempered, but they must get help from their pastors if they are having problems or facing challenges. I think they will get help. Like us, we got help from the church, to be honest. So that's why we are still standing. And ever since we started to come to church, things have changed. Yeah.